The Sister Servants of Mary Immaculate came to Ancaster in 1946, primarily as our place of training, our novitiate. But because it was shortly after the Second World War, we were soon asked to take on war orphans, mostly from Italy, but also from other countries. And soon after, in the early 50s, we opened a school for girls, which we ran until 1975. And after that, Mount Mary became a retreat center. Our congregation was founded in 1892 in a small village in Ukraine. We came to Canada only 10 years later, in 1902, primarily to serve the Ukrainian immigrants, but it wasn't long before we started serving others as well. The sisters are gathering all the needed vestments, the altar linens, other equipment for the various events and volunteers from our local Knights of Columbus, our Chushkevich Council, 7464, come on Wednesday before to set up the bigger furnishings. Sunday starts early with a Divine Liturgy or Mass for the volunteers who would not be able to attend the Divine Liturgy celebrated by the Bishop in the mid to late morning. Before the Bishop's Liturgy, we usually have the blessing of water Holy water is a sacramental that people can take home with them to bless themselves and bless their homes. Then we gather a procession to the outdoor liturgy site where the bishop's liturgy is celebrated. This year, because of the weather, we had it in our auditorium. This year also, we had the ordination of a deacon. This has happened in the past as well, though it's not an integral element of the pilgrimage. Our bishop takes the opportunity of the gathering of so many people for such ordinations to witness to them of vocations to the service of God. Throughout all this time, confessions are happening throughout the grounds or at designated places indoors, as in this year. Then there's an opportunity for lunch before a number of other events happen throughout the afternoon. If we're able to get a special homilist, who speaks to the theme of the pilgrimage, then we might ask him also to do a presentation in the afternoon. This year, we had a presentation on the life of Metropolitan Andriy Shevchitsky, who was recently proclaimed venerable by the Holy See. Much is said in our day about the importance of formal communal prayer, of divine liturgy, of the divine office, particularly among our clerical circles, but it's the faith of the common people that really holds our church together. As much as they benefit from the sacraments we offer here, we're also edified by their faith.